Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel, it's Audit in Yorkshire. So we are still in Cumbria guys, at Barrow in Furness with West Audit Report. Yo! Maz Audit. And we are at the V EA Systems. The submarine, nuclear submarine players. We built nuclear submarines guys. Yes, yeah, so we are at the nuclear site boundary entrance guys. Uh, overturn styles locked for all chained. I'm not sure if this, this entrance doesn't look used actually, to be honest with you. Don't look used at all, it's all locked up. Oh, one side is, one side in. This is the publicly accessible uh, bit to get into this part. Pedestrian access. Pedestrian access. So, what were you saying about the launching these nuclear submarines? Look at that sign, have a look. Some bylaws on it. Is it once a year? Probably twice in a year. A couple of times a year. A couple of times a Launch year. Launch nuclear submarines. So no one authorised access. Uh, protected site under serious organised crimes and police at 2005. Trespass on the site is a criminal offence. Well that's fine because we yeah. have trespassed on the site anyway. CCTV recording said, in operation. More information. Yeah. We have trespassed on the site anyway guys. We just went in the publicly accessible bit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, we've got quite a few people looking at us wondering what we're doing. Fire. I think that's the fire notice isn't it so let's walk down to the main gates guys and we'll pick it back up. Yeah so we're just at the side of the said building right now. Hi guys, we're And uh, we're just gonna walk down, we're gonna walk down to the barriers. We're gonna find out where the publicly accessible areas are, etc. etc. As we do. Uh, look for any issues, any problems. Uh, it's a big massive place this. Never been here before. In fact I've only done one. BAE system and that were at Washington and uh, West Audit Report were there as well. Yeah, not you, mate? To you guys about the, uh, the connection of the company up there. Um, it's the same company that we looked at up in Washington. So these do the submarines, they do all the chemicals and stuff like. So anyway, we're going to have a quick look around, see what we can see. Oh. Right, so we're just going to see if we can see any security or out like that and find out where these uh, publicly accessible areas are and stuff. Obviously, it's going from main road sort of into this bit here, so I can only imagine the boundary is actually these barriers here. And past this point as well, as you you know where you can see here where tarmac changes? Yeah, that where, must be their barrier. Where colour it tarmac changes? For. Yeah. It must be theirs. So that must yeah. be their their private bit. Hey love, can I have a word a minute about do you know your your, your footpath here? Yeah. Right, so do you know when it changes colour? So you know you sort of like you've got your publicly your public footpath, when it changes colour, doesn't it? Is that your boundary? Does that then become your property on that light grey bit? Um, no, I think it's all the same. Right, where's your boundary? Where? Sort of like just these barriers? Um, it won't be a minute, I'll just have to pop inside two seconds. Alright love, no worries. Thank you. Just so we know where we can go and where we can't go, that's all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's no reversing allowed in here guys. But yeah, quite a big place. It's quite a big place. We're just trying to get uh, some information. I like it how they got all the uh, lock ups for the motorbikes. Yeah, all lock ups for bikes and stuff. But we, we just try to sort of like determine where the boundaries and stuff so we know where we can and can't go. That must have coordinator, I don't know what that is. Is it security as? On site in this place. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah that guy was proper giving you a dirty look, mate. Which one? That, that big bloke when he walked past earlier. Look, that look, I've given you a proper dirty look. The uh, systems. Do you guys work here? What, what, what do you guys do? Blue overalls on what says I'm safe on the back. Do you work with submarines? No comment. No comment. Don't really want to stay here then. <laughs> well, it's a shame, really, because it's an interesting place. I'd like to find yeah, out. There's a lot going on. Wouldn't yeah. it be a nice day for me? There is a lot going on. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, the car parts are full, bikes are here. Yeah. Can we have a word, chaps? Sorry? Can we have a quick word? No. No, okay. I'm interested in what, what's going Fair on. enough. Yes, she is. At least security were a bit nicer. Yeah. Anyway, shall we walk around a bit further around or are you waiting? I don't know, she's coming out. So she's going to come back in that hot. Seems to be going around in circles. Yes, yeah, she's going around in circles here, guys. Oh, uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to, yeah, we'll just carry on walking around and we'll pick it back up, guys. Yeah, so we, we've come round to the next entrance, D58 IPT, Integrated Project Team. Uh, main site access only. Main outside. This is the main access. These are dice, the points for security when they walk round. Down there, looking at us now. When they walk round and they, um, they're scanning all the dice, the tags and stuff. So they can prove to the bosses for doing the patrols. Looks like they're just about the uh, security hook. Yeah. So the gates of the boundaries, guys, no entry. Yeah. There you go, no entry, guys. Uh, D63, how we doing? Alright. You alright? Got any nuclear submarines launching today, guys? Can't disclose that information, sorry. You can't disclose it. No problem. Is there anything this you can disclose? Tell us about this place. Any, this any? isn't where they go from, anyways, mate. Is it not? No. Well, we knew what anyway. This is completely but, different. Yeah, but are you recording? Yeah. It's BEA system, any BEA system, anyway, and so we just thought we'd come down. But uh, I mean, you know where they launch from, from, anyway, don't you? Yeah. Is it round the far side? To get right round. It's round the bridge, isn't it? I haven't got a clue, mate. Sorry. All oh, right. Okay. Right, no sure problem. You, can, you security, yeah? I am. Yeah. No problem. Is there anything you want to? Obviously, you're not going to tell us, though, are you? You're not going to speak to us <laughs> in relation to anything in this place. Oh, I can't. I can't. All right. Uh, is there anything you want to ask us? No, I no, just know what you're doing. <laughs> oh yeah, obviously that's that's <laughs> obvious. Isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Hi, um, how long you been working security, mate? Um, about a year. You got your badge and stuff, yeah? SAA yeah. license. Yeah. Is it on display? Yeah. Good lad. Mm -hmm. Um, also, you did, say, you did say my colleague you're recording. Yep. Obviously, as, as, because you're working for a company with GDPR and stuff, you don't have to tell us you're recording. Right, yeah. uh, obviously, we're, we're members of the public, so we don't have to tell you. Right. But just for future reference, you have to tell us, yeah, obviously, because no, you're, you're collecting our data now, aren't you? And if we want to make a knows, subject access saying. request for that data, yeah. we don't know you're recording, we can't do that, can we? No problem, yeah. Exactly. Like so, how are you doing, mate? You alright? Yeah, no problem. Badge, recording. Oh crack on! Uh, you, have you got all to say about this place? Is, is for all what you can tell us? No. Any, any, anything interesting? Make submarines, yeah. <laughs> all right, you're not literally, like we're just here, literally, it's just it's an interesting place, and obviously, we, it's we, a long we, way to have a look. We, we're just having a look. We, we're doing a bit of video recording, obviously, and we, uh, if we can get a word with people, some people like to talk to us, some people don't. Yeah. Uh, but is there anything you can tell us about this place? Anything interesting? What you uh, might think? Can't say anything. No. Really. no. no. You having no. some new work done? No, more space. Bigger submarines? Are you bound by secrecy then? Is that like? Just as you said, con GDPR. Con contact the media team, sort of thing. GDPR. Do you have a media team? Okay. I think B B A E. Yeah, I think they might, they'll, they'll probably go off a media team. To be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. I think it was suggested to us when we were at Washington. Yeah. yeah like that. No problem. Well, right we'll, we'll carry on walking around, mate. Yeah, I'm going to look at the see, site, alright? Thanks, Kevin. Nice to see you later. Well, no worries, thank you. Go. Pick it back up. Can yeah. you just walk back up that way and have a chat? Is that alright? Do so what? Not, just to have a chat, just so we're not parked on main road here. Well, I'm not parked on main road, am I? 
If we turn around, can we have a chat with you over there? Well, you can follow me if you want. Where are you going? Wherever my legs take me. <laughs> I just want to stop somewhere that's safe for the pair of us to talk. Well, do you want to turn left at these lights and I'll just sort of like... I don't know, I don't know, obviously. Yeah, we can go down there. That's where we're walking. What about across the road to the Premier Inn? Just in the car park? Um, Premier Inn? Well, at least they're not... Well... Just off the main road. What about... Yeah, whatever, whatever. Oh, literally um, just in there, that'll do. Yeah, 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 you have to cross yeah, the road. No problem. Yeah. At All least right. you want to park up, not like them douchebags at Washington who just did well basically just sat in the middle of the road causing obstruction. But at least yeah, you guys want to park up. Safe, yeah, well that's yeah. fine. Can I just identify yourself before we go over? Yeah, PC twenty eight oh seven. Are you based at Barrow and Furnace, Barrow, are you? Yeah. And what's your colour number? Twenty two fifty twenty two five five. Alright mate, no problem. I'll see you over there. There we go guys, there we go guys, we've, we've not even got halfway around this place yet and um, the police are wanting to uh, stop us and have a word with us. I think they're armed, you know. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get up there. Give a smoke around the police. Could be wrong. What we'll do is, just out of uh, common courtesy, we'll walk over and um, we'll have a chat with them, so we'll pick you back up. It's got a nice sunny day for it. I know, it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you are around, police. I thought I saw the... um pointing at the splodge on the... You know, your, your thing up back of your window? Yeah. Is the... it your, ast your asterisk? Yeah. Yeah, they've never had one of them at Washington. And they tried accosting us in the middle of the street. So you've been to Washington, have you? Not today. Oh, obviously. Well, I said you do. I said you do. You do realise you're making me feel no, arrested, no, no. distressed, don't you? And they're like, why? I said, because obviously... You're following us about, you're not talking to us, you're not telling us why, you want, why you're following us, you're just following us. And you're armed. I've got a camera, you've got a gun. I said, what are you playing at anyway? What would you find people like to speak to us about? We, we just want to come out, obviously the security has to rank us. It's just the security for BAE. Yep. All right. They just noticed you on CCTV cameras, obviously with your cameras. Yeah. Oh, that'll quit. We didn't want to go onto their land, so we were only asking them what our limits are. Yeah, yeah. The last thing we want to do is trespass. Yes. Obviously, we understand that you're entitled yeah. to record anything, but obviously, we just want to go out and understand why you're recording. And yeah, we asked you about submarines, you build them up here, but they couldn't tell us all. Fair you play subs, innit? So, what is it you're sort of interested in today then? Anything and everything. <laughs> Anything and everything. Okay. Basically. See it, I'll film it. We, um, I went, went to Barry, I, I did ask one security woman actually where the boundary was, uh, she didn't seem to know, um, so I mean I didn't go past any barriers or gates or all, only a publicly accessible bit, other side, yeah. but we seem to be a bit, bit fickle in there, like no, nobody seems to know what we're doing, do you know what I mean? So it's like well, if we just wander in off the street, what you, what are you going to do? Do you even know what your job is? Do you even know what you're allowed to do? You know? Well, that's that's question, why they've got you know, security off there and us. where are you? I don't understand why you're here and they're there. I think I just said what you said back to front. <laughs> What's the point in having security? I and mean, then not dealing with an issue yourself, but then ringing the police. And this is what I keep telling me, security companies. If you want to waste taxpayers' money by calling the police, you do that, but they are not corporate cops. They do not work for businesses, they work for the public. They are there to protect and serve the public. Not protect and serve your private business. That's why you've got security. But they're just snowflakes, mate. There's too many of them. So it's just like grab any of your details to it? Absolutely not. No. Absolutely no, we've not. We've told you who we are. I've got, to, I've got to ask. You're obliged to tell me who you are. Yeah. yeah. It's in your policy. Well, you know I've got to Fair ask. Enough. Before you say, I know it's not law, but it is in your policy. Um, it's not really tells who you are then? Me? Yeah. Absolutely not. No. What did you do with the videos then? Where'd you post them? It's just wherever I want to. Personally, it's it's just different people have different yeah. likes in different yeah. areas. And it's, so it's, it's just public information. It's just public interest. You know what I mean? Yeah, if, right. if someone wants to see it, we can see it. You know. Can, can, I, can I ask about your hand weapons? Yeah. Are they blocks? Yeah. Block oh, seventeens, are they? Yeah. Nice. Bad boys, am I? Used to have one of them, mate. What's their faces now? Look. Sure. <laughs> if, we're, if we're a, a BB one. You have to change. <laughs> obviously, throughout, throughout the year, we've got to keep up with our requirements to be yeah. obviously yeah. Uh, as well for the job, to be fair, trained for the job. You'll know that, uh, you'll know that just as much as we do. Yeah. I'm sure you do your reading. You have to train rubber weapons. I mean, uh, uh, 
rifles, you all? Yeah, we're, we're, we're kitted with rifles, yeah. Yeah, oh, cool. I'm fired full, normally. It's alright, MP7s are in back at van, mate. Back at car, don't panic. <laughs> obviously, obviously, we come out to you today, we're all, we're all fine, we know you, where you're recording. Yeah. Obviously, make sure you don't go anywhere. Well, if you get any more calls, you know we're not going to be trespassing. We might get more calls, we might pop out. Oh, we're, we're not breaking law, mate, oh. so. But, uh, obviously we've come out and said hello, so yeah. we're fine, we're going to get on our way. Oh no worries, well like I said, you're both polite and professional, so. um, you know, you, you both smiled and you've sort of like, you know, um, and, you, and you, you've been nice and you've approached us correctly and stuff and uh, I know I were a bit testy to begin with, but I'm just testing, what I'm really doing there is just testing your professionalism, you passed the test by the way, congratulations, so. I'm not patronising you, really. Um, I, I do test professionalism with police, constables and stuff to see how they react in certain situations. Um, you, you two are a good, good couple of guys, I can tell you know that, do you know is, what I mean? Okay. When they're armed up, yeah. they're more in control of themselves. Oh, well, I'm not too sure, mate. Well, Great well, Manchester Police, armed uh, police, they're, they're they lunatics, man. These guys are all like, in tune with themselves yeah. as well. Yeah, GMP armed yeah. police are lunatics. <laughs> you don't ever want to go work there. <laughs> so. Right, we'll let you get on your way. Yeah, and we'll wait. Just be careful where you're yeah. walking. And Thank you for being very professional. Yeah, no, yeah. no problem. Brilliant interaction there. Like, no, and later. Right. Stay out of trouble. Yep. Oh, today. I'm sure we will. Oh, See you later. Thank, Thank you very much. That was interesting. That was really, really interesting. No, no. Um, stop for the red light, Gene. Stop for the red light. Uh, no, we're all, we're all right, we're all professional, uh, approachable, uh, very nice, pleasant, smiling. That, that's what you want in local constabulary. So we'll pick it back up, guys. What? Yeah, so we've just crossed over the road, guys. Uh, we're still doing our little circle of uh, PAE systems. And we've just crossed over the road uh, just to look at this. Little, little, little monument thing. It's that big massive propeller. Uh, this is actually the Gotham Museum, guys. It's a big ship over there. Well, not ship, boat. We'll go have a look at that in a minute. This is the Submarines Recruitment Centre. Look at that, guys. Submarines Recruitment Centre. Absolutely wonderful. Look at all this. Beautiful little entrance. Yeah, I think they've locked the door actually, haven't they? I think you can actually. Is it publicly accessible, this, or is it close to the public? Fast. If this is close to the public, that's probably why they've locked doors then. Yeah. Yeah, we can't really see out in there. Oh, sorry, mate. Uh, but it says opening time there. I'm a bit confused. Can see. So they lock the door because we've seen us approach, do you think? You working here? So they've locked the door because we've seen us approaching, haven't we? I don't know, I've just turned up. Because there's opening times there. Yeah. yeah. No problem. Can you not put me on the video, please? You're not on my video. That's why I just lifted my camera up. No, sorry, you're friends behind Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's why I just lifted it up as I went round, you love. As you can see there, guys. Okay. We've got doors on us. There's an area of footage. Oh. Area, uh, I don't know what they're playing at. Come and open the door for your colleague. What are they doing? Literally, it says opening times as follows there. And we're keeping this way to sit out And then they've locked the door because they've seen us approaching. That is ludicrous. Yeah. Come and open the door. Yeah, so bad. I didn't think you get your camera. Right. <laughs> I'm just trying to swing the camera around. Oh. Oh. That is full of grit salt. But no shovel. I suppose you've got to do it by hand. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, so this is what I just wanted to get. It's an RNLB Herbert Lee. It's um just be careful with your camera around here, mate. Don't don't be getting them kids. There's actually like some kind of school here. Uh 
But it's in a very interesting place because this is the Herbert Lee. Uh, Barrow's longest serving lifeboat to date. Uh, started in 1951 and was replaced in 1982. This lifeboat actually got um, refurbished a couple of years ago. That information, guys. As you can see. Feel free to pause that and read it at your own leisure. It's suffering from quite a lot of uh, uh, power shafts. Not this one, but the rudder. Yeah, actually got refurbished. This guys, the propellers on there. Bloody hell, they're what even spin them. Right, like I said, got to be very careful what I'm doing. Put the camera around here. So, fantastic piece of kit. Fantastic. Get a picture of it from. Uh, on the front and then I'll pick it back up. So we're just round the side of the Dock Museum now. And uh, it looks like it's all sealed off like we oh, don't use it anymore as a proper dry dock. Dry dock, yeah. Yeah. But inside there that is totally dry. You can go down but like Maz was saying, BAE has taken over that so they're using that for submarine training and inductions probably. But out here, like I've said, fetch your kids up, there's plenty to do, get some empty bottles. No, I'm just joking. There's plenty of empty bottles anyway, but this is usually drained. And then we can get down to the bottom of uh, the holes on the ship. Yeah. But it's not a big place, but it's just near BAE. B -A -E. So we're going to go down and have a look at that. So, uh, that's oh, blimey. Give these guys. Yeah, we're going to go follow that building round now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Oh, God, it's boiling today, guys. What an absolute beautiful day. So the Dock Museum, I think it's shut today. It opens Wednesday to Sunday, 11 till 4. Just try and add a little bit of humour into some of it. And it's free admission, guys. Free admission in case anyone wants to bring the kids or bring themselves. Nice little afternoon out, I can only imagine. Yeah. So we've got a cafe inside as well. Yeah. Yeah, so we're, just, we're going around to the other side of the building now, and I've just noticed this gentleman setting some equipment up. Now, I have seen this quite a lot of times previously. Can we get any words, sir? What are you doing? What is this thing? This, this thing here, what is it? He's surveying the traffic. Surveying this nail. Sorry? Surveying this nail here. Right. No, what is it you actually do though? Because I'm say I am interested. I've seen a lot of people with these. Surveying that nail there. Really? Yeah. Oh so it is. That's, that's a right. Point. right, I thought it was being sarcastic. He's actually surveying that nail there, guys. Any particular reason, sir? Just so we know where it is. Right. Our police keep driving round waving at us. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> wasting taxpayers' money there. Got nothing better else to do. Um, go back to Nick and wait for a job, mate. Stop wasting half your money. Right, I'll leave you to it, buddy. All right, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers, fella. So what the guy's doing? He's looking at that pin. That's the second known height in measurement. Right. And then they'll put that up. That is a known height from the from that pin to that pin. Because if they're doing any road work, they need to know how much material they need to use it. Right. To make it equal level safe to a pedestrian level. And this is the second one. Well, this is the main one. Hey, mate, you're right. I've just been looking down there. Your guy was telling us about the pinpoint. Yeah. So he's lined up on there. So you're now going to survey this pinpoint to that pinpoint. So how accurate are these then? 
Uh, first it's angular, so yeah. seconds and spot, yeah. so it depends how far you shoot. There you go, quality, there you go. quality stuff. Well done. Cheers. Thanks very much. Lovely job, Blair. Catch you later, dude. So, we are round the back of the BEA systems now. I always get them bloody mixed up. I don't think I'll ever get them right. Anyway, we're round the back of it, guys. This is Bugs Delivery on there. I think there's some kind of external contractor working here, obviously. There's some sort of building works going on. BA systems. Um, now, this is the back of the building. And as you can see, the gate is in. Oh, we've got our police here. Oh, that's very interesting. Is this. Are they awake? No, I think these. All right, guys. Are you um? Are you? Are you on site, please? Are you on site, please, for BAE systems. It's not BAE police. No, it's Ministry of Defence. Oh, Ministry of Defence. Yeah. All right, nice one. So, do you work? Are you, are you based here all the time, then? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Lovely. So we've got MOD police, guys. MOD police. It's not something you come across every day. Uh, they've all got Glocks as well, Tasers. Glock 17s, MP7s, Tasers. Tasers yeah. That's it. Call of Duty. Find out where the boundary is. Yeah. I think, is it this place? Is it this here? Do not attempt to go inside. Whilst wearing. Whilst warning lights are flashing. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Where's the boundary, mate? From this gate, green gate. So we're not we're not allowed past this green gate. So if you're lingering if you're lingering outside here, yeah. you're not in the way of cars. All right. It's not the end of the world. It's fine. All right. That's I won't be pushing back here though. Do, all right. So don't attempt. Sign, to, sign up over there. Anyway. Don't attempt to come past this bit here. Yeah. Right. If no. You're not, it's not. It's not a problem. All right. No worries, mate. Nice one. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks for your time. What a lovely guy. So it's said we're absolutely fine to be filming outside premises. Just don't, don't try and go past the gate. So, do you have to check vehicles and stuff as well, Mr. Security Man? Oh, he's not wanting to talk to us. You what? Right, I'm just going to set my uh, tripod up, guys, and come back to it. So we've set the tripod up guys and what we are doing now is we are going to observe what happens in this place. So I've been mentioning uh, we've got uh, double green gates and then the barrier in the middle. Double green gates, barriers in the middle. So I believe people people will come in this way here from the main road down past these gates uh, and I think before we even get in this bit here they have to have some kind of vehicle slash security check or something like that. Um, obviously it's, it's a highly technical site in it, do you know what I mean? Um, and I've got MOD police on site too. There you go, I've got his van checked. That's the one. Which one's one check, mate? Eh? You know oh, yeah, you don't know what you're saying. Do you have any ideas why we have to do all this? That's what's the good thing. That's how long it's going. We need to make sure we don't want anything to be done. Also, to get the recognition of what's in there, so when we leave, then we'll have to do that. Yeah, of course you are, mate. Yeah, we're well, just yeah. members of the public. So, yeah, it, it's kind of a two way check for both places. Right, right, there you go guys, there, there you go. So I've actually got, I've, I've got people, I've got people at work here asking me if I'm okay to pass. Right, so, that one's going now. Time to check this one. Is that one getting checked? Let's get in. Yeah, he's getting checked out as well, isn't it? Crazy stuff, guys. Crazy. I'm going to take some pictures and bring it back to you on this one. Right, so we are round at another entrance now, guys. 
and we're just going to get a quick shifty sneaky peek at this and then I think we're going to be wrapping it up shortly guys um, I'm absolutely boiling it's not got Covid-19 bloody regulations advice and stuff on here documentary love. Alright, well I don't want to be on camera so do you want to turn it off me please? No, not really. What? Not really. Well do you have the right to video me? Sorry love? Do you have the right to video me without me? Yeah, there's no, there's no expectations of privacy in a public place. Alright, well I wasn't in a private place so was I? Well you I was wasn't on, in a private place. I was on site. No, you're in a public where it's place. In a, yeah, but yeah. I'm, I'm on a public place. Yeah, but I wasn't. Oh, put a mask on, man. Give yourself up. Weirdo? Yeah. You just call me a weirdo, did you? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, thumbs up. See you later, love. Bye. Bye. Come on, chat again. <laughs> oh, just another fan. <laughs> what was she saying work? No, she called me a weirdo because I'm filming. Oh, she's a fan then. Cycling's prohibited. Uh, One way. Bit of security up here somewhere. This camera's dying, I'm gonna have to change off. It's my pocket too, guys. I've been recording on my DSLR for this one. I'm gonna have to change off to my pocket too. Because I've only got one battery for this camera, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, there you go, it's what it is. Yeah, so. Basically, for the last hour, we have had these guys following us around. Still the same amount police from what pulled us earlier on. Yeah, That's what we do, guys, for driving around, wasting taxpayers' money on fuel. Obviously, we've got nothing better else to do there, guys. Nothing better else to do. Uh, what we're going to do is we are just going to... We've got a final gate here. Uh, what we're just going to pick up and then the gate opposite and then we are going to go, we are going to wrap this bad boy up guys and I think we're doing the same here as what we're doing around the other side which is signing vehicles in and checking them out and stuff like that I've not seen any MOD I've not seen any other MOD when it's about to be honest with you I haven't seen any others trotting about Apart from down at the other entrance, the other gate. Mr. Angry. Um. And then we've just got this entrance here, guys, and then we're going to wrap this one up because. I feel like I've been here way too long, but it has been a good video. It has been quite an interesting one to be honest with you. Yeah. This 
this is, this is where I've just seen that big massive thing come through. That big massive um, cargo thing, whatever it is. Cargo vehicle. made the right shifty move on. <coughs> when we first came over and now they have no choice but to uh, open the gate for this vehicle what is just about to leave. What? I think? Yeah. That one there. Covering his face. You're like, buddy. Why is it all security guards? This is all grumpy gits. Hello, <laughs> mate. Might never happen. What's my all? Eh? Not happy at all. Not happy at all, mate. Not happy at all. Oh look, they've got the gates. The uh, shutter, shutter up again. Let's go and have a look. Shutter's up again. Let's go back over. See so the shutter again. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, we've just shut this shutter because we were filming, and they've opened it again. Let's All I've done is cross the road. Let's see if we shut it again. us today guys this is what these have been waiting for look they've been waiting for someone to come out and form the truck